you, you do the show uh, in Melbourne, and you do the show at the, uh, at the Edinburgh uh, Festival, and, uh, and you got to meet one of my all-time favorites, uh, Emma Thompson. I did. I had that. I wasn't meeting people after the show because it was, you know, it's a lot. It's a lot to watch. It's a lot to do. And I'm antisocial at the best of times. <laughs> um, <laughs> and so I, um, I had a blanket policy, not, I'm not meeting people, but particularly because sometimes when people like a comedy show, they want a hug. And there's, I have a strong me circle policy. Keep, keep it clear. Um, and <laughs> keep it clear, no yeah, hugging. Yeah. Mm. yeah. And... Uh, <laughs> And this particular night, my, my tech uh, came out and said, look, I know you don't meet people, but Emma Thompson's here, so you don't have a choice. This is for me. Uh, if you don't meet her tonight, you don't have lights tomorrow night. So, <laughs> yeah, um, that's the way life works. So yeah, the tech, you look yeah. after the crew. Yeah. Uh, so I, uh, I went out and uh, I didn't really know who she was. I did. I had a vague idea. I knew she wore a bonnet in something. And... Um, <laughs> She's one of the best ever. She's I googled her. I know now. <laughs> and uh, she, I, yeah. I went out and uh, and she said, oh, you know, oh me. And um, she said, can I have a hug? And I've gone. Oh. <laughs> you actually did. <laughs> um, but she wasn't reading the room, and she gave me a hug anyway. Um, okay. Yeah, which was in the end turned out to be quite pleasant. I think perhaps I did need a hug at that stage after doing the show over and over again. It was quite a grueling show. Oh, it's a roller coaster, yeah. emotional. Yeah. So we ended up just crying on each other's shoulder. I don't know what she was crying about. It was my life. <laughs> Um, wow. Yeah, but uh, she gave me her phone number on one of those, you know, those coffee cup cardigan things. You know, on the takeaway cups, they have a little, like, cardboard... <laughs> Almost like a cardboard sweater, sure, yeah, a cardigan. Yeah, yeah cardigan. I know, yeah. The yeah. little, yes, I know what you're talking about. Yeah, yeah, yeah yes. little, little vest. <laughs> the little um, vest, yeah. Little coffee vest. <laughs> and, and she gave me her phone number on it. Well, I'm not going to call you. No, of like, course I you mean, don't. We've had a hug, that's enough. And Back a off. cry, yeah, exactly, yeah. Exactly. But somehow she got hold of my number. And um, not reading the room. And I mean, really persistent. Uh, but uh, I did not know she'd sent me a text. And I was in the middle of texting someone else for no real good reason, but I was keen to send my friend a picture of Chuck Norris. Um, <laughs> and I accidentally sent it to Emma no. Thompson. <laughs> it was, she sent me a text going, that was an amazing show. I, you know, it took me all night to process it. It's changed my view Beautiful. of the world. And I'm like, Chuck Norris, double denim. <laughs> <laughs> like, what is wrong with this person? I've never met anyone like this person. <laughs> <laughs> And uh, how, how is, your, is, your, is your mom uh, handling all this? Oh, she's always handled it. Um, like, my mom has been a strong, supportive, non supporter my entire life. Um, yeah. And, and then career. Um, so, my first ever, she was in the recording of the Netflix special, uh, which was not great. Um, <laughs> like, it was already stressful enough. And then, yeah. oh, good day, mom. Yeah, mom's there. Like, oh, gosh. But she was at my first... Uh, the first time I ever performed in front of mum was by far the most terrifying gig of my life. Of because course. she doesn't also read a room. Um, but she owns every room that she's in. And she'd never... We'd never seen stand-up. You know, I'm from Tasmania. There's no, there was no real stand-up scene there. So, and she never watched it on TV because it represented two of her least favourite things. Men who think they're funny and who shout. Um, and so any time I'd have a glimpse of stand-up on TV, she'd get, oh, I've got news for you, and just uh, <laughs> turn them Flick off. Flick it off, yeah. yeah. So, but she arrived, and I was worried she'd be heckling me, but then she heckled everyone on the bill. No. Um, so she was heckling yeah, comedians? All of them. Um, like, one guy got up, he was particularly short, and she just sort of yelled out he'd be, he'd be taller if he sat down. Um, <laughs> It's not bad, actually. It's pretty good. Yeah. But my favourite one was a guy who came on, he was talking about Starbucks, uh, and, um, and <laughs> Mum's just gone, what's Starbucks? I'm from a, a small place. <laughs> and um, and he's sort of, that, that took him aback, because we, everyone knows what Starbucks is, and he's like, it's McDonald's for coffee. That's how he... Oh, yeah. That's a good one. He recovered. Uh, good, yep, he recovered, but it did take him a bit more time to get his rhythm back. Yeah, who and who that, would ever say, what's Starbucks? Yeah, yeah. I, I know someone. And, <laughs> and uh, anyway, so, but that's how perfect my mum's timing is. She waited till he got his rhythm back 
before she continued her conversation, which... <laughs> and so he got his rhythm back and she said, Oh, I thought you were talking about a movie. <laughs> and... It's like, what is going and, on, and man? And then so he lost his rhythm again. Yeah. And then so she thought, I'll let him get his rhythm back. Yeah. And, it, and, and he did. And just as he got his rhythm back, Mum's gone, Oh, no, I was thinking about Star Wars. <laughs> This whole act is gone. Gone. And mine. And yours as well. Uh, I would like to show everyone a, a clip of your special. Here is uh, Hannah Gadsby in Nanette. Take a look at this. I don't even like the flag. <laughs> Controversial. <laughs> there, I've said it. Now, <laughs> the pride flag. Now, I love what it means. That is perfect. Pride. Wonderful. But the flag itself, a mm, bit busy. <laughs> It's just six very shouty, assertive colours stacked on top of each other. No rest for the eye. <laughs> An afternoon of that waving in my face, I need to express my identity through the metaphor of a nap. Have a gas me, everybody. Nanette is on Netflix now. Uh, uh -huh. on and on and on. Uh, and it's on and on and on.